Hey, war novels and abandoned hovels. Two very sad rhymes today. Hey everybody, my name is John and welcome to ADITW, a day in the word, the internet's favorite Bible study. James chapter three, it's about to hit you right in the mouth, literally. You'll get it in a second. Please read James chapter three, verses three through eight. Okay, so James is throwing around a dangerous amount of metaphors right now. Like Tom Brady's got touchdowns, James got metaphors. I'm talking like your youth pastor's got slightly dangerous icebreaker games, James got metaphors. And all of these metaphors, whether they're about horses, ships, or fires, all of them serve to help with James's lesson on the tongue. You get the hit you in the mouth thing now. Now, a lot of Christians love to point to this passage as evidence that saying certain four-letter words is a sin. And while I do believe that word choice is one aspect of what James is talking about, I believe that his lesson on the tongue goes much deeper than that. Essentially, James is arguing here that as a bit is for a horse, and as a rudder is for a ship, and as a spark is for a fire, the tongue determines the directions of our bodies, and ultimately, our lives. The words that we choose to use and the intention that we use them with actually has an effect on our entire being. We can think of it this way. The tongue tells the temperature of your soul. Jesus himself talked about this in Matthew chapter 15, verse 11, where he says, what goes into someone's mouth does not defile them, but what comes out of their mouth that is what defiles them. When we're in a fight with a friend or maybe a sibling, oftentimes we just want to let them have it. Or when someone asks your opinion on something you didn't really like, it can be very tempting to just let your words fly. But what Jesus teaches us and what James chooses to remind us of here is that the words we choose to use have a deep impact on the spiritual health of our souls. In fact, oftentimes the words that we use that are meant to hurt others end up hurting us just as much. It's like a double hurt. Because let's not forget, those words still hurt the other person as well. So not only does our tongue have an effect on our own spiritual health, but it also has an incredible impact on other people and the world around us. From the very beginning of the Bible, Scripture makes a strong case for the importance of words and speech. I mean, if you look at Genesis, what did God use to create the entire universe? nothing more than his words. And the text also details that God used those words to create something good. From the beginning, the Bible teaches us that the tongue is a tool, and you can use it as a tool, or you can use it to be a tool. <laughs> but seriously, in scripture, we see that God's words have the ability to both build and destroy. And if we truly are made in the image of God, that means that our words have that same power. We are able to set fire to someone's reputation by spreading lies about them. But we're also able to build a renewed sense of self-esteem in another person by sharing intentional encouragement with them. The words we choose matter. And real quick before we go, I wanted to share with you all a little tool that I learned that has helped me to become way more intentional with the words I choose to say. This was shared with me a few months ago at our church, and it's three questions to ask before you speak. The first question is, is it true? It can be very enticing to sort of stretch the truth or even flat out lie to make our words sound more enticing. But we have to remember that speaking the truth and speaking the truth in love is one of the most powerful things that we can do. The second question is, is it necessary? Yes, you may have certain information about someone in your class or someone in your dorm, but is sharing that information with other people gonna help bring God glory or help bring his justice into the situation? Or are you just gossiping? And finally, the third question, is it building people up? Are the words that are coming out of your mouth helping to build God's kingdom in your heart, in the hearts of those who hear you, and in the world around you? 
If you take a minute and think about it, in giving us the ability to speak, God has actually given us this incredible tool, and it is our choice whether we want to use that tool for good or for evil. And if we choose the evil route, if we choose to use our tongues to destroy, then remember, we're going to be destroying ourselves in the process. The other option is to intentionally use your words as a tool to help build God's kingdom. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching. I wanted to take a quick second before you go to let you know that today's show is brought to you by Audible. Why Audible? Because Audible content includes an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and more from the leading audiobook publishers, broadcasters, and entertainers. For me, I, I used to read a ton of fiction when I was growing up, and thanks to audiobooks, I've gotten back into fiction, whether it's on long runs or whether it's on road trips. In fact, Sweet Bear and I, we just did a giant road trip down to South Carolina and back, and each way, we listen to a Lisa Jewell audiobook. If you're into suspense novels, I highly recommend Lisa Jewell. But of course, with your free trial, you can choose whatever book you want, and your first book is free. That's right, Audible is offering viewers of this show a free trial and a free book with that free trial. All you have to do is go to audibletrial.com slash Jorgensen and you can sign up, get your free book, and you can start listening today. Once again, that's audibletrial.com slash Jorgensen. Also, as always, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to our supporters on Patreon. If you are interested in helping support this ministry, this channel, in a financial way, for as little as a dollar a month, you can simply visit the Patreon link in the description down below. That's all I have for you guys. I love you all. Keep being awesome.